Hi. So, I haven't done a video in quite a while for a number of reasons. Uh, first one, I've been a bit ill. Uh, I've also been really, really busy. And I'm just at the tail end of that illness, and that's why the sore throat and the hoarse voice. But, it has given me a little bit of time to play with something that I've been meaning to play with for a very long time. And that is actually Victor Petrick and his amazing graphite demonstration. I get sent this demonstration a lot, and the usual question is, can you repeat it? Now, I've never really bothered with it much until recently, and I thought I'd have a look at it. So what I've got here is some graphite in a beaker, and in a minute, I'm going to pour my equivalent of Victor Petrick's mysterious solution over it, and we're going to watch it do pretty much what Victor Petrick's does. And here is my equivalent of Petrick's mysterious solution, and it's perfectly harmless. In fact, the only thing that really happens if you dip your finger in it is your finger gets a bit messy. So it's a perfectly harmless solution, and we pour it over that graphite, and it will expand in the same way that Victor's does. Now, it takes a little bit of a while to get going, um, and it doesn't really expand as much as Victor's does, but I think that's just a matter of tweaking it. So I've got a few tweaks to go, but I thought I'd show you where I was already. Okay, so I've put some in a tiny aluminium candle holder and I'm going to drip some mysterious solution on it. Um, surprisingly enough, it's actually quite wet, so it'll fume white at first because of the moisture vapour in it. And there it goes.
Now, unfortunately, there's no point in asking me what I did to treat the crystals of graphite to know what the mysterious solution is, because this was done under the auspices of Edison Labs. So the work was actually done for Edison Labs. But um, the few of the reasons why it doesn't expand quite as much as I hoped it would is that I've used 45 micron graphite, and Victor uses something like a bigger than a 50 mesh or something. His crystal's quite large. When you use large crystals, the expansion is very much more dramatic. So I've got some crystals on order of uh, 50 mesh, and I'll give it a go with that. The other thing, because I'm actually quite excited by this and wanted to show it you, I didn't actually dry it properly, so you saw a lot of white steam coming off. And that white steam is just water vapour, so a lot of the energy of the reaction is going into drying it before the reaction actually happens. So if I dry it properly, then we're going to get a much better result out of it. The other thing is that the way I've made the crystals needs a little bit of tweaking so that we can get some more dramatic expansion out of it. But essentially, I think that's the secret of Victor Petrick. So I'm pretty sure I've discovered his secret. Now, he gave a demonstration to some Indians where he said that anybody who could discover his secret, well, he'd pay them $10 million. Hey, Peter, Victor, I think I've discovered your secret. Where's my $10 million? I don't actually expect him to pay me any time soon. But I also think that I've found out what he's actually doing. So I hope that was of interest to you. And thank you very much for watching.